camera up and it just hello yes ma'am i'm right here are you ready uh, uh, okay Marilyn. so where are you calling me from again yes Marilyn. your name is charlotte okay how um, old i just turned 34 34 what's yes. your zodiac oh you're a tourist you said right you two. have two girls children um nine hello your girls yes nine and ten by the same man no he ever been married no and what are you doing for um, our living again post office post office so no, that you make you a not. highlight I'm, unfortunately unfortunately oh, I did. I'm a... <laughs> okay i'll thank make sure you. i make you I a you highlight baby. this thank time oh, oh they're telling i hate this they're telling me it's lagging Okay, so we got to follow a seven-second rule. Okay. So I'm going to repeat everything you said. So let's just start. I'm going to repeat it. All right, I got the leg. So we'll, we'll follow our seven-second rule. Charlotte, post office, Maryland, 34, is a tourist, two girls, um, same father, never married, though, in Maryland. All right, what kind of man are you looking for? Wait seven seconds. Um... I'm just looking for, like, to be honest, like uh, a man that can provide and protect and, you know, um, just be there that can show up and care from, like, my kids are always taken care of, but it's overall a man that can be there mentally, financially, emotionally, and just overall, just a good man. Like, I don't know. It, the man out here is not the same no more. So I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> whatever, whatever man got, whatever man got, the man he me here to, not the... to be with. Whatever he 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 blesses me with. But as of right now, Miss Kendra, I don't even know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit confused and and lost dealing with men. To be honest with you, I am. I'm gonna be real with you. I am because. It ain't the same no more. It ain't. So tell me, uh, first of all, your dad, your children's dad. What happened with that? Was that ever an option for long term? Wait seven seconds. Was there ever a long term option with your children's father? Wait seven seconds. Um, we just got things established um, with court, but that's nothing I'm not, I'm not going to speak on. So now we're getting back to co-parenting. But um, okay. if you want to speak about like maybe like five, six years ago, yes. But things didn't work out that way. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, things happen. People outgrow each other. Things happen. Now, you said that you don't know about men anymore. So what are some of the biggest challenges you're facing when it comes to dating? Wait seven seconds. Um, I feel like trust issues. You know, it's like you can meet somebody in the beginning and they'll tell you like certain things and make it sound good, make it look good, but it's not. It's not what it is. And I can go from back, that can go on, um, like both parties from the woman's side and the man's side like you know that can go both ways it ain't just about the man it ain't just about the, it, it go both ways so overall i just feel like just like the whole honesty thing trust level and to be honest with you kendra like i know like i'm still like going through some things like battling with demons and i'm still trying to heal but i know a lot of people want to be like okay if you're trying to heal if you're trying to if you're still healing and this and the third like why are you on here and all of this but I feel like we can still date too while we're healing. We can, we really can. That's just what I feel. Um, I think huh? so, I think so. Yes, ma'am. I said I agree. So just overall, I just feel like just the honesty thing, honesty and loyalty and just people not, you tell me this, but a month later, maybe nowadays, two weeks later, it ain't gonna be the same. <laughs> you go, it's gonna be something different that you, you know, you, you know, something different. Something you said, um, you said it is not the same anymore with men. 
I think I would challenge that. I think men have always been men. It's just now we live in a social media world. Big Mama was dealing with shit, okay? Big Mama, new Big Daddy, yeah. had other <laughs> women. Y'all ever been to, like, um, like you ever go, and I hate to bring it here, but you ever been to a funeral and then you meet, you have a brother, you have a sister, you have cousins you never knew about. But Big Mama knew about the whole time. I think what happens now, we're living in a space now, when Big Mama was dealing with the bullshit, there wasn't a social media track record. So she may have knew, her girlfriends may have knew, but yeah. she was still holding down the fort. Now yeah. we're in social media, so it's like in the forefront of your face. Also, um, social media, shout out to Terrence J. He said something I never, and I, he said it, I don't know when he said it, years ago, but it stuck with me. And he says social media mm -hmm. has made the world smaller. Like, where are you well, at okay, right now? So I'm at a seafood restaurant. Oh, I know, but okay, what city? So what city Con are you at? I'm trying to get. I'm, this is my first time here. So, um, okay. yeah. Okay, but you're yes. in, okay, you live in Maryland. Okay. So you're in Maryland, I'm in Connecticut, and we are talking, you know? So the world got smaller. So, with that being said, the guy that you might like before, you just had to worry about the women in your city. Now it's the women of the world. Because this guy in Maryland, if he's <laughs> worth his thought, right? So, he got options all around the world. So it makes it so unless that guy really, really, really wants to be with one woman and that's his spirit, it's a challenge because his so, options okay. are just too much. I, I like everything he said. Um I reciprocated everything he said. But I'm gonna say one thing. So when I left off your show the first time, right? Because this, this is my second time here, and I do appreciate you letting me be here for the second time. I really do. Um, so I had been dealing with somebody for about a year and a half, right, Kendra? And I just feel, it just feel weird because when I had left your show the next day, you know, the man that I was like, we never been like, I mean, we was in a relationship like one time, but that, that literally didn't last long at all. So when I got on your show and then the next day it was like, oh, okay, we're going to get back in a relationship. We're going to do so good. So it's like, I didn't, I really didn't give the men chance, a chance to like talk to me. They were all in my inbox, but then again, I wasn't really interested because they weren't talking about nothing. It was, it was weird energy. I don't know. It was like maybe two guys that I really did like, two guys. And probably the, the guy, he's probably on here watching. Hey, boo. Hey, John. <laughs> but, <that's, so laughs> but no, overall, um, overall, I was dealing with this man. I was dealing with this guy. And I didn't give the other man a chance because, you know, we try to make it official. Does this make sense? Right after I left the show? Right. So the guy that you was dating... In the dating stage, you guys weren't in a relationship, but you weren't Right, but then when I got on your else. show, I got on your show. So after I got off your show, him and I got into a relationship. Like, it was more so like, okay, are you, are you, are you trying to get in a relationship with me? Okay, so what happened after that? So, so okay, so you guys, got, so you came on my show. He probably exactly. got nervous that somebody Ex else would get you. Come on, my tour sister. Come on, baby. So, okay, but now, okay, so now with, with that being said, so, right now, so what's the update? It's, Where are you guys it's now? It's not, it's, it's toxic. It's fuck. And I'm being, I'm being very transparent with you. Like, I know, like, I'm, like, because I probably got people watching me that, like, you know, that's tapped in with me as a woman that's close to me and that knows my situation. And I'm a very personal woman, so a lot of people don't know, but I'm just saying it's toxic. And it's like, this not what the fuck I want. Excuse my language. This not okay, this is not what I want. So at the end of the day, um, I just wanted to, like, start over again. You understand what I'm saying? And for the people, hold on. Hold on, Miss Kim. So are you done on, with Kimber, them? Are you and while y'all over there saying y'all don't care, but y'all on here watching me, y'all on Miss Kendra's show, and y'all watching me talk. So while y'all saying y'all don't care, clearly you do care because you're watching me with my pretty ass. Next. Bye. Why y'all so upset? And see, I, and last time I was on here, I ain't respond to none of that. But now I'm, I'm talking. But anyways, let's proceed, Kendra, my poor sister. 
But long story short, it didn't work out. It was toxic. It just didn't. It, it's toxic. That's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me jump in. I think this is a statement that can apply to everyone, me included. It's never about the other person. It's always about you. And I think um, as women, it's always like, when I always I ask women about what happened with this guy, why does it work out? And they just say, oh, he's a narcissist. And they find out after they had a child. And the, the real reality is you're never going to change anybody in life. The question remains, why do you I deal like with a toxic person? Um, shout out to Sarah Jakes. Wait, hold on, hold on one second. Shout out to Sarah Jakes. Shout out to Michelle Obama. Half of the men, and I'll put myself in this category, that we have tolerated or dealt with couldn't get mm -hmm. past a weekend with a Sarah Jakes. Wouldn't get past a weekend with a Michelle Obama because their standards and their requirements of how they're treated are on a certain level. So the question then really becomes, you got to ask yourself, it's not about this guy being toxic. It's about why am I drawn to toxic men and what do I have to do to change myself so that guy no longer becomes attractive to me and that guy no longer can even get any of my space because women say on my show all the time, oh, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. Yeah. And then my question is, well, why are you dealing with him? You know, and, and that's the only way to really get a change yeah. is by you Absolutely. changing yourself where now that taste is no longer I, even good for you. Like, Absolutely. you don't even want it. It's bitter. And, and women have to start being honest with themselves and asking themselves, like, why, what is it about? Okay, what am I doing? Am I just choosing men that have money? Am I just basing it on physical? Like, you know, guys are very open on my show about a woman has to be attractive. But women, just like, they don't say it as often, but appearance matters to women too. And attractive men do get more leeway than a non-attractive guy. You're not, you're, not, you're not going through a lot of bullshit with a guy who you don't find attractive, who's not putting it down in the bedroom. You're just not. So you got to start asking yourself, okay, maybe I got to stop. I got to treat every guy like he ugly. You should treat every guy the way you would treat an ugly man. Don't give the guy who's so much more attractive um, yeah. more benefits because of that. If you treat every guy the same, then you will realize, okay, who can I build a life with if that's who you, if what you really want? And I do think women say they want to build a life with somebody, but I don't really think they always want to build a life with someone. I think women like their independence. I think women like uh, being in control. And those two requirements might not, they might hold you back from a relationship. And you got to decide what's more important. Can you compromise? Are you going to bend? All right. But with that being said, Charlotte, we're going to move fast with you. So let's just sum it up. What kind of guy do okay, you Okay, so want? again, um, like I was saying, I do. And thank you for everything you just said. I really appreciate that. It all makes sense. Um, but I, I want a... Um, a man that believes in a high power. Last time I did say a God fair man, but I'm gonna say high power. I want a man that can provide and protect. A man. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm happy you brought that back up. When you say provide, what do you mean um, by provide, provide? Like, okay, so if it's get, okay, so we're in the beginning of this whole like situation, like in the beginning of. I mean, like, okay, a date, I, I give 50 50. Like, I like, I like doing things 50 50. Like, okay, okay. So, first night, okay, he needs to pay for the food. Maybe the first two nights. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to end up tapping in. I'm going to tap in, meaning I'm going to end up, you know, paying party third, third night, fourth night, whatever. Um, a man that if, when I call him and, you know, God forbid, if I'm in need of some help, you know, paying bills or whatever the case may be, um, that can back me up you know he can back me up like literally back me up i don't want a man that i'm dealing with especially if i'm sleeping with i'm sleeping with you we dealing with each other and you can't call it call it what you want to call it tricking hoe whatever y'all gonna speak y'all shit on here whatever cool but call it what you want to call it because even if like i was just telling my peoples i'm like the thing is a woman can say oh yeah I just, I, um, I was dealing with somebody, you know, I like him, whatever, I slept with him. He paid a bill for me. And then I'm like, oh, well, you're tricking. Then versus, if you tell somebody too, okay, well, you know, I slept with somebody and he didn't pay a bill. Then it's like, you just, 
what are you doing? You ain't getting no money. You a hug. You this thing. So either way, you're doing something wrong. But I'm just saying, if we're together in a relationship, and I need your help, I need a bill paid, and I can't do it on my own at a, at that moment, whatever. Because we all struggling. So we're not gonna sit on here and act like a lot of us not struggling. Like we're not going through some shit financially. Cause I know I ain't perfect. I ain't gonna sit on here and say I, I'm perfect. Cause I'm not. Fuck a pretty face. Forget all that. I'm not perfect. I'm struggling. You know, I'm a single mother. I just just I'm gonna leave what I was about to say alone. <laughs> what I'm saying is a man that can back me up. Long story short. Let me ask a question on this because it's something that I've heard men say. Because you do have two kids. So do you if you were in a financial hardship, do you have an expectation of your child's father well, to back you up? Being that you do have two kids by him. And so because sometimes men feel like Okay, you have children by a guy, and now you want me to be the provider for your children and you. Why do you not go to your so, the guy you have second, kids with? Me. Hey, sir, excuse me. Can I get a box to go, please? Cause, yeah, because I'm all, look, I'm over here talking to you. I didn't eat my muscles. Like, <laughs> I didn't eat my muscles. I didn't eat. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so to answer your question, um, so I just, um, because I'm trying to say what I was saying it. Um, I just um start getting back. Thank you, thank you so much. I just start um getting back in touch with my kid's father like literally three days ago, and I was a single mother for a whole year and a half. You know, and I had to do everything by myself. So now that we we completed court, you know, the judge ruled, and he, he the judge said what he had to say. Now, you know, it's it's fifty fifty. Everything is is split down. But I'm just saying far as in a man that is in the picture. I'm not saying he has to do I didn't mention that he has to provide for my kids. Well, providing for you and paying a bill is providing for your kids. So if I pay a bill in your house, I'm providing for your kids. And so it's some and and, and, and and some men feel as though it's unfair to give them requirements that you didn't even give the child of your father. I'm just telling you what, how some men feel that have the means, like well, a man that has yeah. the means to help Absolutely. you with your bill will say, now I have to provide for you and your kids. Hold on one second. I have to provide for you and your kids when you had two kids by a man and you didn't hold him to that standard. So that's just all that. I, this, is what, this is how men who have the you money right. to do guess it what? feel it. You're time. so right. I'm going to just cut it short and say, guess what? You're so right. I and mean, guess what? You're happening in my life with my kids then yes you gotta help out then you're right you gotta provide you gotta help out and i'm not saying doing every and anything no i'm not but yeah and do some things like even if it's like as like going out and taking the kids out and whatever he's paying for whatever but at some point you gotta do something you're right but you're you're right you're right you're right kendra you're right you're right and I, and I, again i'm just really resigning the things that i've learned because I always say, who, when I started this show, who I am today is not the same person. But after three years of different conversations, and then three years of hearing both sides, women's sides, men's sides, it's like, okay, there's certain data you just collect. But okay, we got it. So for being a provider is important to her. Do you want right more now, kids? Because it got, yes. I have kids. Okay, I have kids. Does um, he have to be yeah. in Maryland? No. All right. So why would a guy be lucky to be um, with you? What's that? <laughs> Besides my flaws that I do have, because I'm not perfect, I said this, I said, nobody is perfect. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, walk away. I'm not perfect. Who is my that? Friend. A guy this you're on a date guy. with? Wait, hey, this is the guy you talk. No, Which guy no, you talking about? The oh, baby no. daddy? The, See, then you put yourself the guy you met from the show? <laughs> you want to talk to the Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait you want to talk to the You're gonna wait. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh he, he can wait. give it to you raw and uncut. Wait a minute. But I don't know. See, but the whole time you don't even like being oh. on social media. Yeah, but you're saying you. Bringing this to my dinner. Okay, so wait. And, and I, I told you that I was going to get on here. Right, exactly. So let me finish this. Let me finish this interview. And then I'm going to get right back to you. 
Ooh, we're gonna have some problems in the car, baby. Watch. So listen. But wait, wait, wait. Hold it's on. not a date. No, a it's not a date. Right it's not a date. This is some makeup shit. Some shit happened last night. He wanted to make this shit up by taking me out to eat. Because I love food. You a tourist. You love food too, Kendra. Have y'all ever had sex? Have y'all ever had sex with the guy you're talking messy. to right now? <laughs> have the guy... Let me ask this question clearly. The guy of you're with, have you ever slept with him? So it's a date. So you're on because a day no, looking for another no, guy. No, 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 Miss Kemper, listen, girl, one thing wondering? I'm not going to do is, for one, because I know how you are, I pay very close, you know, we, very observant, I pay close attention to you, I've been following you for a while. I'm not wasting, let me say this, I'm not wasting your time, because I literally sit here, and I say, I'm about to get back on Kendra's show, because we going through some shit, and you laughing so hard because you trying to embarrass me, but that's fine, because you're hating on me so bad. You are a hater, like, you're a fucking hater. Yeah, walk your ass off because you hating so bad. He's hating on me. Cause he already know one thing about me. One thing. One thing for sure. Two things for certain. I'm a bomb ass woman. Ain't got nothing to do with looks. I'm talking about with cooking. I'm talking about with my motherfucking business, my job. I'm talking about tapping in, have my own money, have my own place, townhouse, my car. Everything I got is on my own. I'm bomb as shit. I don't care what. what he laughing because he trying to show out. He trying to show out. He trying to embarrass me, and it's cool. But. I was real, I'm so raw with it. Like I said right here, I wasn't being sneaky. I said, look, I'm going on Kendra's show. I'm going back on her show. I showed him the first time I was on your show. I showed, he wanted to, so I don't want to see the video. But he said right there and seen the whole fucking video. The first time I was on your show. He said that he watched, he analyzed everything. But what the fuck did you do to make anything different to, to change the situation? Why do I got to come on her show? Why should I, why I'm on her show? He not my man. He not my nigga. He not my boyfriend. So I'm, I, I can, I can, I can do this. I'm a grown ass woman. You understand what I'm saying? But him sitting right there, he a little irritated. He like, damn, she on it. I don't want another nigga to have her. I don't want another man to have her. That's what it's given. That's what it is. Straight up. And y'all probably telling me I'm aggressive. I'm, I'm not even reading the comments, but I know I'm giving aggressive. I know I am. I know I am, but I don't care because. This is me. This is who I am. And I'm not going to change who I am for anybody. And I told this man, I said, look, I'm, Kendra is accepting me right now. And I'm going on the show. So let me jump in. Let me jump in. Because one thing you said in the beginning is um, these men aren't the same. And that's why we have these deep dive convos throughout, throughout, your, uh, throughout, throughout our interaction. Because you made it very clear you're attracting a certain type of guy and these guys aren't the same like they used to be but girlfriend date or not this is a man you once slept with y'all are sharing y'all are having dinner together so i'm gonna call it a date and you're on my show looking for another guy you i mean That's men will say you for the streets men will look at you and say girlfriend you don't see the reason why you attract that guy look how you're acting so, so i think that Again, I don't like to do judgment. I like to do enlightenment, right? I think that we have to enlighten each other. And you, whether he was right or wrong, the bottom line is you you entered into this exchange. You agreed and to I, sit here and break bread and have dinner with him. But yet, and, but yet and still, you came on the show. Right now, we got over 5,000 people. Once it's a highlight, even more people will watch this. And they will and say, guess, well, guess girl, what? you Kendra, guess what? the street, so why guess should what, Kendra, Guess what? Right? One thing about me, I don't give a fuck what people think. That's one thing I love about me. Because guess what? At the end of the day, I've been through a lot of things. I, I've been tested by faith, by God, by through people, through whatever, by the devil, whoever. I really have a mindset. I get what you're saying. I, I know as much looking at it like how you guys are looking at it, I get that. But I know I'm not for the streets. But guess what? I'm a grown fucking woman. I do what the fuck I want when I want to do it and when I have it. And I don't care what anybody thinks. Because guess what? Somebody's going to always have something to say. Somebody's going to always be negative. Someone's going to always talk bullshit. Someone's going to talk down on you. I get all that. That's fine. Put me on that motherfucking highlight and tell them, fuck them, and I don't give a fuck what anybody's talking about. And that's on that. And, 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 and y'all can say and I ain't got no plans. So that's fine. That's fine. But guess what? I know I got some shit that I got to work on within myself. And I said that in the beginning. I said that I'm not perfect. 
I know that I have things I need to work on. Maybe I'm toxic. I know I'm to I could be toxic. Maybe that's it too. It's things that I got to work on within myself. I know that. And we all do. But guess what? The only person that can judge me is God. So call it what you want. Call it. And that's it. So classless. Yep. And let me be so classless, though. But I bet. Go ahead, Miss Kendra. No. Okay. <laughs> so, Charlotte, we're going to do this, honey girl. Give the guy who wants to connect with you. Um, we, I mean, you were very transparent. Um, German Your Instagram page. Underscore, oh, wait, no, wait. It's, it's two underscores, German, G-E-R-M-A-N, Rasta, R-A-S-T-A-A. -A. That means I'm, ex I'm, I'm half German, I'm half Jamaican. <laughs> Y'all some haters. <laughs> it's big course energy. So I'm just like, look, Miss Kendra, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I, I I have been drinking a little bit. You know, we're gonna be honest with each other, and that's what I love about myself is that I am very transparent. Like I'm not about to get on here and change my voice and be all bougie. Oh yeah. Oh, mm. so I just I'm looking for a man. No, y'all gonna what you see is what you get. And okay, maybe my my man is not on here. It's okay because when that time comes. God gonna bless you with my man. Alright? So I want y'all to have a good night. And for all the, the women, the good women that are mothers that's taking care of their they kids, happy early Mother's Day to y'all, okay? Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Relax. Don't okay. don't do too much. Oh. Well, one thing we gotta do the Kendra Cam. They wanna do the Kendra Cam. No, I'm not going on with me. The Kendra Cam. Okay, all right, we see you, bro. Okay, you want to start from the back? You want to start from the back? Okay, okay, we see you back. Oh, the, is the restaurant closed? All the chairs are on the table. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's time. It's time to go, boo. <laughs> all right, all right, it's all right, time to go. Thank all you right, again bye, for having me. I appreciate you, baby. Bye, and big tours, energy. I mean, all right. <laughs> I've already seen that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you, baby girl. Ooh, child. Um, ooh, child. I think, and some of y'all felt like, oh, I talked to her too long. I love sometimes conversations need to be longer than most, and that's just what it is. But I, I love it when it's longer because the longer we talk, the longer things are revealed. Who the hell knew she was literally on a date with the guy she was talking about? I would have never got that. Had I had cut it short. So, oops, yeah. All right, let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. <laughs>